Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Friends, welcome back to my channel In this session we will discuss how we can make a very simplest tester for our MOSFET Using some 3-4 components you can test it very easily It is a working MOSFET When I will press this button it will display here How this circuit will work we will see in detail First I will install here some short circuit MOSFET so this MOSFET is short circuit between gate, drain and source so it is displaying directly that means it have malfunction if I will remove this one and I will install this MOSFET it have the same result even I press this button it is displaying directly If I connect this MOSFET, it is the same. It is displaying directly. So this MOSFET is good. A good MOSFET must remain off. When we will press it, it will display. And when this capacitor will discharge through this resistor, it will turn off this indication. Let's start. If you have not subscribed my channel, I will request to subscribe it and if you want to watch my videos in future you can press the bell icon button to make a very simple and very easy tester for a MOSFET we you know MOSFET is a power switching device drain source gate when we apply some gate pulse gate voltage it will charge this gate and at that time this ground level will switch to the output side to the drain to make a tester we want to take some indication we can connect a lamp we can connect some LED so I am using here LED and we will connect 1k resistance to make a gate charging network we will connect the same 12 volt we will use 12 volt power supply or you can use 9 volt power supply that will also work you can use a small battery in this circuit one push button when we will push this button it will apply this positive voltage here and in this place we will connect our capacitor it is 47 microfarad 50 volt when we will press this button it will charge this capacitor and it will charge the gate so this MOSFET must switch it will allow to flow the current through this LED and LED will glow we want to make a gate discharging network in parallel to this capacitor because this is just only push button we will push it and when it will push it will connect the voltage when we will remove it so it will open the circuit so we have to discharge this capacitor through this resistor and here we will use 10 kilo ohm resistors this is the total circuit let's make it to make a universal we can connect female connector we can use 9 pin connector we can use 25 pin connector anything we can just only we will connect here when we want to test another MOSFET we will bring here just connect it so it will a uh, good solution and in parallel if uh, we want to test some power MOSFETs like this we can use this connector this is used normally in the ATX power supplies you can use that one so anything or you have some crocodiles you can connect the pins here take three crocodiles connect here drain source and gate and we can make connections what is soever just only make here indication this is for the source this is for the drain and it is for the gate so we can make it 
easily let's connect this network if you are using this one we will use the first three pins at the left side then we will connect MOSFET here so it will make connections with this one this is source this is drain and this one is the gate here we will connect a capacitor 47 microfarad 50 volt first of all we will make connections here in parallel to this capacitor we will connect 10 kilo ohm resistance it is 10k a 10 kilo ohm resistance parallel to the capacitor and in this capacitor we will connect the first pin that is the gate pin so gate we will connect to the positive terminal very simple connections we connected here the gate that is here gate is connected to capacitor positive terminal now we will connect this source pin the rightmost pin to the negative of the capacitor now when we will connect MOSFET in this connector this black wire it will go to the negative terminal that is the source pin and this one is the gate pin it will go to the capacitor positive terminal to take a signal like here drain pin we will connect LED with some 1 kilo ohm resistance and LED negative terminal LED cathode will connect it to drain pin and now this pin we will connect we will take a push switch push button when we will press this button it will make connections this resistor one end will reach to this push button and push button this end will reach to the capacitor and the gate so it is here now the connections are ready how this circuit will work now we will apply the positive voltage here now we connected positive voltage at the one end of this switch when we will press it it will pass these positive voltage to the gate and it will charge this capacitor when the gate will charge it will allow current from negative terminal to the positive terminal so this LED will glow now I am connecting the negative supply to the negative end of this capacitor now I applied positive voltage positive 12 volt this point and this point this MOSFET is connected here I will just only press this button LED is on when I will remove it it will discharge this capacitor and the gate will discharge at that time the LED will turn off now if I remove this and I connect to the same three pins the LED is on now directly without any signal so that means this MOSFET is bad if I check this one it is short circuit this MOSFET is short circuit if we check this one with the multimeter it is also short gate to source and if you, I will connect here in the same three pins the LED is on when I remove this one and I connect to the first three pins here the LED must remain off we can also increase the discharge time display time by increasing the value of this capacitor if we connect 100 microfarad capacitor at that time its discharge time will increase ok let me connect I will connect temporarily you can see the discharge time now it will increase now it is off why we increased this capacitor value if you are using a small battery 
9 volt battery or like that in that case just only use 47 microfarad capacitor and we can also take this time by adding this resistor to 10 kilo ohm to 100 kilo ohm resistance first now I will change the voltage level to 9 volt and we will verify it is now 12 volts it is now working I will decrease the voltage to 9 volt at 5.2 volt it is also working but at that time the LED the capacitor is discharging fastly so we can increase the charging time by adding capacitor the LED will remain on for a long time at 5 volt now I will increase the voltage to 9 volt and then we will see what is its response at 9 volt so it is good from 9 volt to 10 volt 12 volt this will work nicely now I have this 4 and 60 MOSFET I connected this MOSFET 4 and 60 it is also short circuit with 12 volt it is the same if you press this button or don't press it is the same because it is drained to source it have short circuit so this is the good MOSFET I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh